Today, we are going to make the best almond flour brownies. This recipe is unbelievably rich and fudgy, and you'd never know they are gluten-free and naturally sweet once you taste them. To get started, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a large bowl, combine one cup of blanched almond flour, one cup of coconut sugar, a third cup of cacao powder, two large eggs, and if you can, try to use room temperature eggs so the batter won't get too thick. If you need an egg-free or vegan brownie recipe, I've also successfully made these almond flour brownies using Bob's Red Mill brand egg replacer. In that case, I recommend making three egg replacements to replace the two eggs that this recipe calls for. You'll also need three tablespoons of melted coconut oil or butter. I usually melt coconut oil in an oven safe measuring cup while my oven is preheating, but be sure to handle it with oven mitts after it's melted so you won't burn your hands. Next, add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix that all together until the batter looks smooth. As you can see, this brownie batter will be much thicker and sticky compared to traditional recipes, but it will turn out perfectly once you bake it. I also like to stir in about a quarter cup of mini chocolate chips to the batter for a double chocolate brownie. Prepare an eight inch square baking dish by spraying it with oil and then press a piece of parchment paper into the bottom of the pan. The oil will hold the parchment paper in place so it won't move around as you add in the brownie batter. Press the batter evenly into the bottom of the pan, then sprinkle a few extra chocolate chips on top. Bake these almond flour brownies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes, or until the center of the pan doesn't jiggle too much. It's normal for the brownies to puff up in the center and then deflate slightly as they cool. If you like a brownie with a gooey center, you can also pull these brownies out a little earlier when the center is still a little jiggly, about 22 minutes or so. Let these brownies cool in the pan for at least one hour before slicing into them. They will firm up as they cool and have the perfect fudgy texture. They probably won't last long in your house after you taste them, but you can store any leftovers in an airtight container in the fridge for up to five days. I hope you'll enjoy this almond flour brownie recipe as much as I do, and be sure to check out my other videos here for more fast and easy real food recipes.